Alright, what's going on guys? Ranked Play is finally here. It came out this morning actually, December 1st. I'm assuming I'm going to upload this video on December 2nd. But I told you guys I was going to do a review of League Play. So here it is. First of all, the gameplay you are watching is my first ever game of Ranked Play on World War II. It is some S&D on London Docks. I don't even really play S&D, but somehow I dropped 20 kills you can see in the beginning i was like checking to see where the bomb sites are and shit like i've never played snd on this map but i wanted to use this gameplay because it actually showcases a lot of the issues that i have with ranked play so overall i would say that ranked play is pretty terrible man i'm not saying that the game is terrible in fact i actually think competitive in this game is actually really good and it's actually a lot of fun it's more so that the system that they have have created for competitive is fucking terrible and I'm not the only one with this opinion I think everyone so far that has played rank play will agree with this if you look at any responses to tweets or reddit or anything like that everyone has a problem with the way they have done it so far and I think that's really kind of the theme so far with this entire game the game itself is pretty solid it's just the uh, developer decision making and the developer support that has been terrible that is really holding the game back and not allowing the game to be as good as it actually can be but let's go ahead and get into it so first of all the most important issue I think with this so far is you do not get properly credited for your wins for example the gameplay you're watching I win this game of S&D but they actually counted it as a loss in my placement matches and this is a big deal because the more placement matches you win the higher rank you get to start out the season so if I'm winning games and they're counting as a loss it really messes up your placement and obviously that's a pretty serious issue it's not just happening to me it's happening to everyone and Sledgehammer has actually acknowledged it they said they are working on it but despite that I, I want to just talk about this for a second because how the fuck does this even happen how incompetent do you have to be to let such a game breaking mechanic exist in your game literally the only point of rank play is to win the game stats do not matter so I would think the number one priority of creating rank play as a developer would be to ensure that when someone wins the game they actually receive the fucking win like come on man you had three years to figure out such a a simple mechanic and on top of that you delayed rank play for a month after the game came out and now it's finally come out and it's still fucking broken like what the hell were you doing for three years actually in fact what were you doing for this extra month that you delayed it did anyone even test it out and be like oh shit we're not crediting people for their wins that's kind of important let's maybe fix this like what the fuck were you doing it's actually mind-blowing to me how you could release this playlist with such an obvious mistake it seems to me this is all just speculation but it seems to me that rank play was not ready at launch that is the reason we did not receive it on day one they have now spent the last month creating rank play and i think that's why it has so many issues because they rushed it in the last month so now it comes out and it fucking sucks and i, I just don't understand man that's embarrassing you had so long to make a finished product and you still couldn't come out with a complete game i mean i don't understand that but you know you made sure supply drops were working correctly we haven't had any issues buying cod points or opening Opening supply drops that works just fine but a fucking rank play playlist doesn't even give you a win when you win the game like what the fuck is going on here seriously the development of this game has been a disgrace there are so many glitches and, and issues with the game it, it's as if you never even tested it out before releasing it but my next issue with rank play is the stats they actually did separate your rank play stats from your public match stats which sounds good right that's exactly what you would want well here's the problem with that your rank play stats are still counting towards your public match stats so even though there's a whole separate category of rank play stats those stats are being counted again in your public match stats now I don't know if that was a mistake or if they're just fucking stupid I I'm kind of leaning towards option two at this point but what's the point in giving separate rank play stats if you're still gonna count them towards your overall public match stats in the game Th they're counting the stats twice it, it doesn't really make any sense but it wouldn't be that bad except for the fact that 
you're not actually getting any XP in ranked play. So they're counting your stats, but they're not giving you any fucking XP for your stats. I I, I don't really understand that. Like, if I'm not going to get XP, then why would I even play ranked play? I'll just go play GBs or UMGs or something. I mean, at least in UMGs and, and GBs, when I win a fucking game, I submit the proof and I get the win, man. Most of the time, at least. That's another broken system. But, you know, we're, we're not here to talk about how stupid GB is. But I don't understand why I'm not getting any xp for my time like it, it honestly feels kind of like a waste of time if i'm not at least ranking up a little bit i know in black ops 2 you would get 10,000 xp for a win i think you still got 5,000 xp for a loss so i mean obviously if you played a real game of hardpoint you probably get more than 10,000 xp but still 10,000 is not bad you know at least you're ranking up a little bit in this game you're not ranking up at all so i, I just don't understand why they can't give you a little bit of xp and now finally last but not least this is my personal least favorite thing, most messed up thing about rank play so far. They decided that the first season of rank play should be solo only. You're not allowed to play in a party. You can't play with your friends. You are forced to play with randoms. Now, I don't know whose fucking idea this was, but it's stupid and everyone hates it. I don't understand why this is a thing. Out of all the shit that's in league play that's wrong, this is the one that really pisses me off. Apparently, their logic is they don't want people to be getting carried by a team. They want to rank people off of their solo performance before you can play in a team so, so you get a true ranking of a player but here's the problem man whenever i play solo my teammates uh, are either a stupid as fuck or B, leave the game. So I'm just losing games that I shouldn't be losing. I don't understand how that's a representation of my individual skill. When I'm dropping 40 plus kills in hardpoint playing 3v4 and my two actual teammates that haven't left the game are both double negative going 20 and 40 and we lose the game 250 to 100, how the fuck is that any indication of my personal skill? It's not. You don't get judged based off your own performance in the game as far as I know. No, the only thing you're getting judged off of is a win or a loss. You lose the game, you lose points, your rank goes down. You win the game, you get points, your rank goes up. I could drop zero kills or I could drop 50 kills. It doesn't fucking matter. So the whole point of solo makes no sense when you're not actually judging anyone's performance. You're only judging a win or a loss. And now the best part of all of this is I actually asked Michael Condry about this. Honestly, I did not expect him to respond to my tweet because I've tweeted him multiple times about this game and these were all very genuine, polite concerns for the community that we would love to have answers on and he has not responded to any of those. But this time, I honestly just roasted the fuck out of him because I was annoyed after hearing the news and of course, he responds to this tweet. So let's go ahead and take a look. I said, listen man, I'm sick of you, Michael Condry. I understand you get bullied and have no friends I mean who wants to be seen with a hoop earring wearing cuck but I would enjoy playing some cod with my friends not pussy slayer 69 going 4 and 25 losing me the game and it has 375 retweets 1500 likes and it certainly caught Michael's attention because he responded with this. PS69, that's uh, Pussy Slayer 69 if you didn't put that together, he didn't want to write it out, wrote and said the same about your 2 and 27. I told him the same I'll tell you. It's December. Let the holiday spirit make your heart grow three times. So basically he's responding to me and saying that apparently I'm going 2 and 27 in a game and Pussy Slayer 69 is complaining about me. I don't think I need to explain how fucking stupid of a response that is. I've never gone 2 and 27 in my entire life on any video game. I'm not going to go 2 and 27. You'd have to have fucking down syndrome to go 2 and 27, man. Like his response is fucking stupid. He doesn't want to address the actual issue, but I went ahead and responded to him with this 2 and 27 Seven? Nice try. Do you realize who you're talking to? I'm not one of these awful YouTubers you invite out to play your game, but now that I 
finally have your attention. I need your response to this tweet since you chose to ignore it. Don't hide now, Michael. Everyone is watching. And I linked him the tweet where I politely asked him about 100 points per kill in domination. You can see the link tweet there. That tweet actually has more retweets and favorites than my original tweet that he did respond to this time. So he definitely saw it. And he saw it again when I linked it to him here. But of course, he did not respond to this tweet, which is so typical man you know you know I've tweeted him many times with actual concerns about the game with actual questions about the game no fucking response I've been very respectful in those tweets very polite and the one time I get on here and I just roast his shit he of course responds to that one man it's just so fucking typical it's just so pathetic man and then like people ask me why I'm roasting this dude like I tried being fucking nice man I tried asking him real questions and I get no response so I just gotta fucking be mean man i just gotta roast his shit at least i get a response like fuck man i don't want it to be like that but that's the way this guy fucking operates like what do you want me to do about it so basically that's pretty much it for the uh twitter exchange that i had with michael uh, i just want to include that because it was relevant to the video but let's go ahead and wrap this up man this is not a very good ranked play system there's a lot of issues with it that i'm hoping will be fixed the way that it's currently set up right now i, I just don't even want to play it until they fix all of the things that i have addressed in this video we need to be able to play with our friends we need to get xp if we win the game we actually need to get a fucking win the stats don't need to count towards our public match stats until all of these things are fixed I don't even want to play it. I don't understand why Black Ops 2, to this day, had the best league play system, and none of these fucking developers have copied the system from Black Ops 2. Is it copyrighted or something? Can they not take that system? Or are they just fucking stupid? I, I need an explanation, because Black Ops 2 did it right, man. Just copy what they did, and bring it to every other Call of Duty, and we're good to go, man. I, I don't get why it has to be such a big issue, man. But anyways, I said I hope that rank play would be good and uh it turns out my hopes have been crushed once again i don't even know why i was hopeful man i should have known better like i should have known they would have fucked it up i mean they honestly can't do anything correct i think i'm not talking about the game when i say this i think sledgehammer is the most incompetent studio like they're very out of touch with what the community actually wants i don't know if it's because they're actually that stupid or they just think they're smarter than the community. Like, they think they know what we want more than we do. I don't know which one it is, but even though this game is 10 times better than Infinite Warfare, uh, I just feel like Infinity Ward as a developer is just better. Does that, I don't know if I'm explaining that right. I understand that World War II is a better game, but when it comes to developer support and decision making, Sledgehammer is just at the bottom of the list, man. They, they just don't know how to make the community happy. I don't know what the fuck their problem is but anyways that's it for the video man you guys let me know your experience so far with rank play i'd imagine it hasn't been very good but uh yeah probably not gonna make another call of duty video for a while i don't even think i want to make any live comms on rank play it's just it's not even fun to play man they, they just fucking ruin the experience so i probably won't even make any live comms or anything so yeah thank you guys so much for watching special thank you as always to all of my patreon supporters be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you are not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out